Hello, my name is Nasa Shamira Mini Manso and I am from the Duansi. Project management is to prevent future team problems to make sure uh, our goals are ones that everyone can agree on. Impacted by the project should have their demands understood and met. And in this session, we will have several project limitations fighting for our attention on every project, such as cost, scope, quality, risk, resources, and time, uh, a sort of them. So first, cost. What is cost? Cost is project approved budget which cover all costs involved in completing the project. Scope is what the project is trying to achieve in this uh, project management so that uh, the company can be a better uh, and stable in the future. Quality is a compilation of the requirements and standards that the project's deliverables must meet in order to function properly. Risk defined by perspective outside occurrences that if they do will harm your project. So uh, this company will take any risk so that uh, they can be a better uh, in the future with other competitors. Resources are necessary to complete the project tasks such as the our stakeholders of the company. And then time, the most frequent project oversight in emerging projects is, is frequent times. Next, I will explain about key elements of success in project management. First, identifying customer needs. Good project managers normally presume that they are aware of the client's requirements for the current project. Planning. The project manager might divide uh, the project into stages by creating an existing plan. Monitoring. The project manager can outline the objectives for each stage as they are being broken down during the planning stage. Communication. Project manager must be skilled communicators because setting expectations clearly is the key to success. And five, collaboration. Understanding how to harness information and experience is the final essential component for project management success. And the last part is benefits of project management. We can manage budget and timeline. We can improve productivity and overall quality for, of work of the company, mitigate project risk, improve relationships with stakeholders, gain competitive, competitive advantage. And that's it from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nurul Alfa binti Abdul Salim and I will continue about uh, chapter 2 which is organization background. Continental is an innovative goods and services that are developed by Continental itself for the connected sustainable movement of people and also their belongings. To fully capitalize on the advantages of digitization across the organization, it enables transformation supports digital transformation at Continental. As for the scope statement, we have project scope management that include three process which is planning, controlling and also closing. For Continental uh, planning, they convert project requirements into work breakdown structure which is WBS, task list, junk charts, resource assignment and risk register using project planning. They plans for resources, finances and activities that are established in detail and integrated with the quality standards and growing profitably and in a market climate. For controlling, it has an automated solution for a data-driven planning uh, process. It works closely with the customer to clearly establish their business requirements. For closing, continental accounting cycle take, uh, takes place after the conclusion of the accounting period. A journal entry debiting all revenue accounts and crediting the income summary. As for the problem for continental company, we have three, which is advanced noise situations, reinforcement and also modifications. The first one is advanced noise situation, which is the tire instruments conditions permit corroborated tires to produce 1 dB further noise than uh, normal, uh, normal tires. Second is uh, reinforcement. The use of reinforcement may involve adding the consistencies of the face under the tread and shoulder of the tire. Third one is modification. These modifications may lead to a lowering of driving comfort when compared to using normal tires. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nuna Zura Bintu Makalo. There are three deal variables in this company which is implemented administrative noise control method, take proper precaution and use proper equipment, and invest in engineering technology and have production staff who have skills to design, develop and execute the correct process. The benefits for implement administrative noise control method is it helps uh, reduce the noise level. It's work by reducing the intensity of the noise sources like machines, tools and, and others. This method also helps reduce vibration thus making the environment less noisy. Next, invest in engineering technology and have production staff who have the skill to design, develop and execute the, pro the correct process. 
uh, the benefit is improved productivity. Highly trained employees can work faster with the fewer errors, streamlining the production process. Take proper precaution and use proper equipment also help ensure that a company remains compliant with a federal state and local regulations. Only by following all applicable codes and regulations can uh, make the continental ensure that their modification are done safely and legally. The risk, financial risk. Continental must be careful to manage costs, keep inventory level in check and be sure to timely collect uh, account receivable and accommodate payment terms. Next, uh, material risk. Raw materials are often subject to short and long-term price volatility, making procurement and pricing strategy difficult to manage. Sophisticated technical equipment is required for the production of tires due to their uh, complexity, complexity. Technical manufacturing, manufacturers and breakdown can occur. Manager risk. Poorly trained employees in correct decision making and the appropriate uh, implementations of strategy can significantly reduce net profit margin. Operational risk. The example is when there is wrong del a delivery of tires, a lack of appropriate transport in infrastructure, and bad supply chain operations can also negatively affect the continental company. Last is maintenance risk. Poor maintenance of tire presses and other essential construction machines can lead to production downtime and reduce profits. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and very good evening to Sir Haris. My name is Sufi Ifwad, so today I would like to present about cost. Continental tires. All types of tires have different prices depending on the size and the trades. For continental tires, there are five types of tires. For example, Comfort Contact 5. So, one of the expenses related to the tires manufacturing is the cost of workers or labors. Employees are required to operate machinery to maintain the quality and requirement that have been set. Therefore, in order to maintain a high level of product quality, the Continental firm places a large amount of importance of a high level of work skills. In addition, the Continental company has machines that help them in the production of tired of their daily operations. This is because the company needs the machine or equipment that is technologically advanced and of a high quality to start the production of tires and maintain the quality of each type of tires it produces. Next for critical success factor, number one, good performance in sales, build better relationship with customer. Relationships are one of the most important parts of business because they can help a company grow well. This is because if we have many contacts in the business world, we can share ideas and find out where are our company weaknesses are. Wish you a good day to lecture. My name is Janakan, matrix number 2022-2548 and I'm here to explain my part on the project management assignment. The project timeline determines within what duration of time which activity has to be conducted. For the production of tyre, the project timeline ranges duration between one month with understanding the research taking one week, developing and mixing ranging from mid of first week and mid of the second week, designing occurring throughout the second week, manufacturing from third week till mid of week four, and the quality control extending from first week until the end of the project. The work breakdown structure begins with first understanding the research by studying customers' needs, where in this case would be customers wanting reinforced tires, modified tires, and tires without higher level noises. For developing and mixing, it's necessary that to understand the mixture used will determine the performance of the tire. The materials used would include five key elements, which would be natural rubber, synthetic rubber, carbon black and silica, and metallic and textile reinforced tires. Under designing for the reinforced process, the reinforced tires provide stiffer convention, better durability and loss long. For the modification process, this contribution to better comfort, performance, efficiency, reliability and safety. The higher noises from tires can be overcome by designing tires with specific tread patterns, such as with specially designed grooves or the Vs. For under manufacturing, the raw materials will necessarily include rubber carbon, soft powder created from crude oil and natural gas. The design is done with taking consideration of better reinforcement. For the manufacturing process, tire is cut by experienced individuals and by use of machines. For mixing, raw components are a necessity in creating the tires. For the mixture requirements, the mixture is put through a mixer and added with chemicals, heat and friction are applied to the batch as well. 
the next process of the body beats and thread development with other processes. In the tire building machine step, the tire is kept in spinning drum and the ends of the tires are glued. For the curing process, a sizable mold is used where a tire mold is designed to resemble an enormous metal clamp where the interior of the tire is elevated to the clamp shell and heated with 280 degrees. Once done, the tire is taken out. For quality control, quality control nowadays is done by inspecting and correcting parts of the tire. The overall of the tire is checked and ensured fulfilled the specifications and measurements. The tires of the future should satisfy upcoming expectations such as modified tires and lower noise level. For the project management office, is entrusted with making sure the projects are delivered on schedule and under budget. For resource management, it is done by ensuring necessary resources are always available to develop the tires. For governance, this is required to ensure all projects are done according to schedule. For schedule management, this is required to ensure the job coordination is in flow. For finance management, it is necessary to determine the quality of tires, risk and issue management, risk management is taken seriously and risk can cause damage, quality control. Under this section, auditing and enforcing is done to ensure good quality in the tires. Thank you. Next, I will explain about project management objectives. The creation of a systematic approach to the project inception, planning, execution, regulation and closure. A key performance indicator KPI is a measurable statistic used by the project manager to assess how well the project is doing in relation to the project management's stated goals for the next projects. Focus on the operations and production of each product and positioning strategy which involves setting your brand apart from the competition. Next, I will explain about proposal of the new project in Continental Company. The change of their production method and how Continental can expand its business to another levels of automotive parts manufacture. For Continental new project proposal, there is summary that stated that project management roles in the part of creating a new project proposals of Continental. And all of the problems being clearly stated and explained in the proposal as to ensure that the audience understand the situation that been faced by Continental company in this state. We uh, want to ensure that the stakeholders that involved in the, in the Continental company know what the proposal will deliver to them at the end of the project. That's it for me, thank you.